Ahead of this year's Lok Sabha elections, the Supreme Court has stayed a notification that was issued by the Ministry of IT and Electronics on the setting up of a fact-checking unit. The notification about uh, this fact-checking unit came out last night and it was issued by the Ministry of IT and Electronics. Uh, this was of course uh, set up under the amended IT rules but the Supreme Court now stating that uh, the status quo in this case cannot be allowed to be altered and uh, the, the centre should have waited for the final hearing by the Bombay High Court in this case which has been adjudicating in this matter. In fact, the final hearing of this case begins on April 15th. Remember, the notification is around the setting up of a fact-checking unit uh, which will uh, crack down on any misinformation or disinformation that's related to the government or its agencies. The petitioners have stated that uh, this will have a chilling impact on the freedom of speech and expression of voters. It also stated that fact-checking unit cannot be dependent on the government's discretion of what's false and what's not. The petitioners also stated that it will become a tool for the central government, uh, central government to control what information really goes out to voters. Meanwhile, presenting the government side, the Solicitor General stated that none of the rules that are mentioned uh, that control the fact-checking unit have been contested by any of the intermediary social media platforms and that uh, it is uh, cracking down on misinformation. Uh, and the burden of the truth should lie on the intermediary intermediaries and it only flags fake news related to government business to intermediaries and this remember uh, the solicitor general stated that this is an attempt to crack down on hysteria and misinformation